Okay, thank you uh, today for looking at our 1250-gallon tank and kind of the different components that make up the tank. So as you can see, we label all of our tanks with our logo, how many gallons it holds, which is 1250 gallons, as well as the maximum burial depth and the pounds per square foot of live load it can carry. We carry three inlets and three outlets on our tank. We currently have, this is a side inlet, we have an end inlet, and then on the other side we have an end inlet as well. And we label them as well so they are installed uh, properly. We have an inlet labeled, and then on the other side we'll show you it has an outlet labeled. We use 5,000 PSI concrete, and we use butyl rubber at the seam. This is a mid-seam tank, which means it comes in two pieces like a clamshell, and we can press it together. And you, if you want to, you can kind of show it's a rubber boot. That's a watertight connection. You uh, you pull this out, and you put a clamp around it, and you tighten it up, and it gives you a nice watertight connection, similar to like a manhole. We use that here in New Hampshire. Then on this side, I don't know if you can see the difference, but there's a three inch pitch difference between your inlet and outlet of the tank. So that on that particular tank, it's 63 inches on the inlet, and this is 60 inches on the outlet. And we measure from the bottom of the tank to bottom of boot. As well, you can see a side, this is a side outlet, and we have a side, uh, and then an outlet as well, that's clearly labeled with outlet. In New England, we have issues with water coming inside the tanks and freezing and cracking our tanks. So what a lot of precasters do, because we set our tanks up to a 1750 gallon tank, we can set them in one piece with our big cranes. So we put them together here at our location, then on site we set them in in one piece. But for us to do that, we create a weep hole, we drill a weep hole at the bottom of the tank so the water can leak out during the winter. So when the ice was in there and it formed, it cracked this tank. So we create a weep hole and when we, before we deliver it, we take water plug and then we fill that in to make it nice and watertight. Now this shows the top of our 1250 gallon tank and because it's a single compartment tank, it has two covers on top of it. One of them is the inlet and the other one is the outlet. And this particular one, we have plastic riser and cover built into the top of the tank so you can bring it up to grade as a watertight connection. We have two handles so we can easily pick up the cover. And it has a taper to it. And you put it back down in. On this side, we put a six inch riser on top of the tank. And you screw it all down in. There's eight screw holes. You screw down each hole. And you put the uh, plastic cover back on top of it. You turn it and you screw these down as well. And it has handles so you can pull it up once it's in the ground. And that is one option we carry. We carry polylock risers and covers. And this comes with or without plastic.